Gage on here, Hubson Zeno here. And I was uh, told by somebody in the Hubson group, this won't work. And as you guys can see here, this was the start of it all. Uh, Mr. Smart A had a lot to say, and he was wrong. You can't do that. It won't fly. It won't go nowhere. This is the crypt. Dude, you put an AIO on a Xeno, it's kryptonite. This thing's gonna explode. Dude, it won't run. Well, let me tell you, that dude was wrong. <laughs> he was wrong. Um, he was right about one thing, which I'm very surprised, and I don't know why Hubson did it. Um, somewhere in between the connection to the controller to the drone is 5.8 gigahertz. There's 5.8 gigahertz. Um, but, but... It's operating off of a certain channel. So all we have to do is with our little itty button up top there, we have to find a channel that it's not going to interfere with, and then we can fly via AIO FPV. Do I suggest doing this? Absolutely not, because there is a possibility that you can uh, you can cross your channels even if you do tune it properly, but if you tune it properly, you should be good. But there's still a possibility that you could uh, cross the channels. Um, but there's really no added advantages to doing this because you then see what this sees and you don't see when you're getting out of range. You don't see when you're disconnecting from your cell phone that would normally be there. Um, but can you do it? You can do it. Despite the clown that was on the group saying, you can't do it. You can absolutely do it. Do I suggest doing it? I will reiterate, no. I don't suggest doing it. Um, if you have to do it, like I had to because I was arguing with somebody and I wanted to basically show, hey, look, dude, I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. I can put an AI out on anything. Um, check the video are out with the Hubson Xeno. Somebody told me that I couldn't run 5.8 gigahertz AIO FPV on this, but check it out. So we have that there. You can see right here, I'm connected, and you can see right here, this is a 5.8 gigahertz screen. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see here. I'll try to make sure you guys can see that. See? It's running. It's working properly. Um, we'll also show you, I kind of want that battery standing up. I'm in like a slosh zone here also show you that this is on that is on i don't know if you can see you should be able to see that's on now um we're gonna go ahead and take off here and uh just show you if you want to use your fpv goggles you definitely can and again guys this is on hopefully this is coming through i mean i'm right in the shadow here so you should be able to see that you should be able to see that um you can see me move my hand up and down in there and then you can also see here that uh this what this is catching is the legs what this is catching is a bigger view because it's on top and it's a wide angle so as i'm moving my hand up and down here you can see it in there but you can't see it in here why because that's a xenos camera versus a 5.8 gigahertz camera so what we're gonna do we're just gonna move this this way we're gonna go ahead and go down and out unlock the motors i still have feet on there we're gonna go up and would you look at that it flies fpv i have my fpv signal down here which is the aio on top i also have my screen on here which is the drone signal let's see if we could take this out a little i can kind of see my screen over there and we're just going to get this to sit out there I'm on and my screen is still good there so we are going to go over here and I just kind of wanted to sit there I'm on sit sit nice this over here GPS hold mode bam so we're good here it's holding am I still good over here I'm still good over there you can definitely do it what's the problem <laughs> what's the problem um now I will note that you're gonna have to search for a frequency that's compatible because 
to my shocking, the person that was arguing with me was mildly right that uh, for some reason the protocol is a 5.8 gigahertz protocol and uh, it did lightly interfere with the camera. Like I, I, I turned the camera on and it lightly interfered with that. So uh, just keep that in mind guys. But uh, as you can see, I'm yawing. We're yaw, 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 yaw. We're yawing, we're yawing. The drone is flying here. Um, so can you do this? Absolutely you can. You're gonna have to find a good channel to do it with, but you can absolutely do it. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you have not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. We're gonna go ahead and sit this down. It's a wet mess out here. My feet are getting wet, but uh, you definitely can do this. wet mess <laughs> and again I have my feed right there which has not cut out and you can see the tripod hopefully you can see the tripod and this you cannot see the tripod because they're on two different angles all right guys